Time doesn't stop for anyone, does it? But gravity seems like using a cheat code to control the time. From the movie Interstellar, you might notice that the gravity interacts with time. But how? How gravity affects time? Imagine you are on the top of Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. Which is about 830 meters tall. The Earth's gravity is little bit weak as compared to the ground. If you have an atomic clock, then you will notice that your clock is ticking fast as compared to the clock on ground. This difference is too small that we can't observe it easily. This phenomenon of relative difference in time, is known as gravitational time dilation. In a nutshell it just means that time moves slower as gravity increases. It is predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity and has by verified multiple times by experiments. Gravitational time dilation occurs because objects with a lot of mass create a strong gravitational field. Gravity can bend space-time, and therefore time itself. In previous example of atomic clock, Earth's gravity is strong at the ground level, thus the more space-time curves, and the slower time itself proceeds. We must note that, there is nothing wrong with the clocks, both clocks are right at their place. Gravitational time dilation is a relative phenomenon. A person in strong gravity therefore sees his clock run normal and sees the clock in weak gravity run fast, while the person in weak gravity sees his clock run normal and the other clock run slow. Time itself is slowing down and speeding up because of the relativistic way in which mass warps space and time. Gravitational time dilation has been experimentally measured using atomic clocks on airplanes, such as the Haffel Keating experiment. The clocks aboard the airplanes were slightly faster than clocks on the ground. The effect is significant enough that the global positioning system's artificial satellites need to have their clocks corrected. This effect works only if there is no any relative motion between gravity and object. A good way to think about it is to consider the astronauts living on the International Space Station. They're floating about 260 miles above, where Earth's gravitational pull is weaker than it is at the surface. That means time should speed up for them relative to people on the ground. But the space station is also whizzing around Earth at about nearly 5 miles per second. That means time should also slow down for the astronauts relative to people on the surface. We will explore the velocity time dilation in another episode. The difference isn't noticeable though, after spending 6 months on the ISS, astronauts have aged about 0.005 seconds less than the rest of us. Thus by the virtue of gravitational time dilation time travel may be possible. If you still have any doubts about this, reference links are given in the description.